For this video, we're going to be doing some cat fishing, most likely channel cat. We've got some bluegill for bait. I'm going to use some bluegill heads and I'm going to throw one, I think, whole bluegill live and see what happens. But we're trying to do the impossible here. We're out here on a recreational lake. As you can see right now, there's skiers and tubers everywhere. It's actually calm right now, but it gets bad. It's rough out here, so we're going to see if we can catch any fish. It's going to be a really tough day doing this, but we know we can't anchor. We just get beat to death. Nothing big, but fun to catch. Got one bouncing out here, I think he's on. on there. Could be trouble, looks like he's crossed the line. Low bite today. Kind of expected it with this crazy traffic. One good sign to catching that fish right there. We know the spawn's been on lately. And we're kind of wondering if it was coming off. Right there is a male channel cat. That's a good sign. We haven't been catfishing lately just because the spawn's been on. Right there, that V head channel cat. He's not really marked up. He's got a couple little marks over here, so maybe they're coming out of it. This should start turning hot. Well, I've only caught two fish so far, but both fish came in the very deepest part of the channel. Now we're in the first part of July, and normally the water temperature is getting warm enough this time of year that we stop fishing the main channel, but it's been an off year and the water temperature really stayed down. Right now it's only 73 degrees. So some of these fish are still down in that channel. And quite frankly, that's the only place I can get away from the crazy boats right now. But if you're wondering why I said we were gonna use bluegill, there's two reasons. One, we were just kind of too lazy to go catch shad. And number two, we usually catch bigger channel cats on bluegill later in the year. Now on shad, if we had that right now, we'd definitely be catching a lot more fish. But you start running into the really small fish. And the benefit of using bluegill is you might pick up a flathead. We're dragging these baits so slow that there's a good chance if we come across the flathead out here, he's going to pick it up. Now the bluegill sizes we're using very greatly. Here's about the average size. And if we were out here fishing in the fall or at night anchored up for flatheads, I'd be taking this size bluegill and putting them on live. But right now I'm cutting the heads off of these ones and that's what both the fish have came off so far. The live bluegill I'm using are really small ones. See if I can catch one. 
small bluegill and sunfish about this size. Right now, I don't want to go too big on the baits because these fish have just been spawning. So, you know, their mouths will be a little bit sore, especially the males. But if they are fully off the spawn and they're really coming back on and putting on the feedback, big baits can work great, but I just don't think it's that time yet. If you're going to go out in the summer and try to catch big channel cats, don't be afraid to use bluegill and cut bluegill. They always do very well for us. take it down and be pulling on the pole in the rod holder and be on for five or six seconds and just come off. That's part of fish with big baits and you know and there's a lot of little kids. healthy fish. No monster by any means. But if we were dragging shad around here, we'd be catching a bunch of little ones. So if you just want to target big fish, stick with it. many in the boat but when we start getting a bunch hidden and just not hooking up it'll be boom 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 several right away all of them in a little area this circle hook got him in the corner of the mouth real good Once again, nothing big. They're always fun to catch. This one took four or five more little ones, not hooking up. This one might have the line wrapped around himself. He's got a little fire. Big fish of the day right there. Nice, strong, healthy channel cat. Get him back in the water. Still just cruising down the channel. I actually picked up our speed a little bit. I was going a half a mile an hour most of the day. And bumped it up to about 0.8 just to cover some more ground. It seems to be working. Picked up a few more fish now that we've done that. <laughs> it looks like another metal channel. Trying not to let him get the ground hurt himself.
kind of a short little fish for as wide as his head is. I can barely get my hands around him. Not a eater sized fish. Well, these are all the fish we like to throw back. But that's why we're using these cut bluegills. To stay away from those small ones and catch these bigger fish. I'm not saying bigger fish will bite shad, but you can avoid them if you just want to target big fish. See the head on him again. Got that V male, and he doesn't have a spot on him, so I'm thinking the spawn's off and catfishing ought to be a lot better. Well, I hate to say it because I know the fishing's going to just start getting good boats are slowly starting to clear off the lake but we're going to end our trip here that was our goal we came out today and we wanted to try to target some nice channel cats in the middle of the day when everybody's out here and things are crazy it wasn't a fast-paced day but we ended up finding some fish and the key was we just had to stay on the channel ledges i mean some of those fish came off right in the middle of the channel the deepest point and some of them came off just the ledge right off the deepest we caught some fish. My wife's sitting there running the camera. She's enjoyed the sun all day. So next time you think it's too rough and you don't want to get out here and fight the boats, just take a deep breath, relax, and realize you'll eventually catch some fish.